Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we'll be reviewing Winter Wildcard Alexander Pato, 5 foot 9 player, medium low work rates, right footed, 5 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Just off the bat, straight away his card, it doesn't look like anything special. Um, 87 pace, 85 shooting, 78 passing, 85 dribbling, and 73 physicals. The pace is decent, good acceleration and spin speed. Of course, with that Hunter Kim style that I put on him, uh, he should be quite good. Good shooting, um, again with the Hunter Kim style, that should be quite good as well. Not the best passing, does have good curve and good short pass, but apart from that, the passing does look a bit average. And the dribbling, the dribbling does look a bit worrying. Um, for a card like Pato, 5 foot 9, you do expect him to have a little bit better dribbling. That balance might be an issue, but we're going to have to see how that works out in game. And the jumping and heading actually is uh, quite good as well. Of course, the stamina and strength isn't that good, but he might have some hidden strength in game. Um, we are going to play him in the striker position uh, alongside Drogba. They have quite a few loans in this team. The team isn't the best. Um, this silver card just here for chemistry. I'll be swapping out straight away for Kunde. And yeah, this is the team. Uh, we're going to play Pato in one uh, position, or one position only. That's going to be a striker position. And yeah, we do have quite a decent team around him. We have very good super subs. Of course, this is my main team. I've just chugged the team t uh, together just to try Pato in. Of course, chemistry is quite hard. He is MLS and Brazilian. So that's why I've Try to give him the triple link um, with the player from his club and his nation. So yeah, let's jump into the games and see how well Pato plays. Ronaldinho, it's a good run. Pato stays on side. Pato goes step over. Four star weak foot. Struck it nicely. Just couldn't quite find the back of the net. But it's a decent first shot by Pato. Pato with the Travella. Oh my days, that wasn't too far ever. Five minutes in and he's had two quite good opportunities and they haven't been far away. I don't see Drogba. That's a good ball. That's a lovely pass on that weak foot. Should get a goal here. Nah. Wait, still goes in. Oh my dear, what is going on? What is going on? We couldn't quite score there. But it was a good pass by Pato. And we are getting bad feet now, but that's a decent pass there by Pato. Pato, good pass over the top. Fruit Tellers, can we get a goal? Well, get a little bit lucky, that is his own goal. But I will, I will count that as a Pato assist. That was a good over the top ball and we get a nice goal there by Tellers. Oh, that was nice, that was really nice. Cancer into Pato. Pato to win Duzi, should be a goal. Oh, that's poor. Pato rolled with yet another assist. That was a good play. There's a weird animation they did in the air for the skill, but. Good piece of play by Pato. His link up play has been quite good. Pato's to See Cantor in the middle. Cantor our first time. Yeah, you can just see there. You absolutely muscled off the ball. If a player did have a little bit of aggression, they would have challenged Van Dyke just a little bit. Maybe could have bounced off the ball and kept the ball, but Pato just gets shrugged off completely. Pato, good positioning. Pato, can skip the keeper. Get a bit lucky there. Oh my god. How has he missed that? Bloody hell, man. Pato, good positioning. Good touch as well. Trying to make up for it. See Cantona at the back post. Through to Pato, can he make up for it? That's a good goal. Pato starts it, Pato finishes it off. He's forgiven for that missed chance. But I don't know how enough he missed that. I do not know how he missed that. Pato, green and finesse. That's a good goal. Two minutes in, we get a nice goal over Pato. Good finesse. Pato has a good one. Has he got a pace on Opamecano? Not quite. And there's where he lacks a little bit. You know, if he had maybe 92 acceleration, 91 spin speed, maybe he gets through. Pato has good positioning. Really good positioning. Lovely touch as well, couldn't get the finish. Not quite. Try to get in the post. Pato with your Ronaldinho. That's a good pass. You see what's the middle. To get a sweaty here. Pato should be a goal. Nice goal. Now if he misses that, then we have big, big problems. He already missed two three saves, but puts the one away nicely. That's one no. So that's, that is the end of the review with Pato. We ended up playing four games, playing, uh, scoring four goals, and I think we, we did come out of an assist as well, but he just um, got put down as on goal. Overall, Pato, not the best card. Um, of course, he does have five-star skills, four-star weak foot, 
good uh, body type um, for FIFA, good height. Work rate's not the best, not the worst, but I just think, I saw his card and I thought maybe he'd be OP. You know, he has decent pace, decent shooting, the composure's good, the dribbling's good. Of course, the physicals aren't the best, and we don't expect him to be the best um, with Pato, but still, I thought maybe they would be a little bit better, but they weren't. His strengths, okay, let's start with his strengths. His finishing was good, very good. Um, when you catch it with the green time finish on the right foot, the left foot, it does go in most of the time. Um, as you can see with the four goals, I think he scored two in his weak foot and two in his strong foot. So he had a good variety of finishes. I didn't have a problem with his finishing. I had a problem with his pace and his passing, mainly. His pace, with A6 pace and with A6 acceleration, A7 spin speed, bumping up by plus 8, so 94 and 95 acceleration and spin speed. You saw him to feel quick, but he wasn't. He was getting caught up by Van Dijk, caught up by all the, you know, the mediocre centre-backs, like Koulibaly, for example. Koulibaly is a, is a very good centre-back, but he didn't have a good acceleration. And I think Pato should be bursting past him with the explosive body type, but he just wasn't. Um, passing, passing him was actually quite decent. Um, I, I noticed him dropping deep into like the camp centimetre position with that medium low work rate um, for the three other players and I think he should have got many more assists but he was robbed we did miss quite a few chances and yeah uh, very good passing 78 passing is a lie I think his passing is very good now dribbling D dribbling wasn't bad at all um, you could combo his dribbling with a few skill moves the balance and agility wasn't a problem for me the reactions ball control dribbling composure very good and yeah I noticed that when I was taking shots physicals physicals he was getting bullied a lot of the times. Um, I was trying to burst past players and he was just getting, they were just sticking a hand out and he was just falling on the floor. So that was a bit of a weakness for me. Yeah, but it's overall the card, not the best, not the worst. Of course, when I, when I started doing the review, he was 80k, now he's 20. And that's reasonable and that, it, it makes sense why he's uh, 20k. If you're doing have fun, if you're a casual player and you want to make a fun MLS team or Brazilian team, get him in. He's actually a very fun card to use. He's nimble. He, he does feel quite quick at times if you combo his skill properly and he can score quite a few goals. But yeah, um, if I was to rate him out of 10, I'd probably give him like a 5 out of 10. Not the best card, not the worst card, like I mentioned. If you do play this game seriously, I'll stay far away. But if you don't have fun and you're a casual player, then go for him. He's a very fun card and you can make some quite cool MLS teams and Brazilian teams with him. So yeah, boys, that's the end of the review. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll be trying my best uh, to, review, to release more reviews during this uh, Winter Wildcard promo and... Hopefully they might release more flashback cards or more icon cards and I'll drop some more reviews then. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.